Welcome Earth Science. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the love reading for the energy frequency of love for the month of July. All right. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have a, a really um, positive energy where um, this Six of Cups is all about love. Okay. All about feeling good in yourself. All about love. Um, in the house of the Virgo, in the Taurus, you're going to be finding out a whole lot of stuff, Taurus, whatever that was happening and transpiring, a whole lot of stuff about your partner, okay? So Taurus, be aware, a whole lot of information about your partner and your friends could be coming out that your friends had something to do with your relationship. Um, a tower moment is here. And it's as if uh, um, the relationship is not over, but it's going to be over. And then as we look at the burdens um, that uh, um, Virgos were having, Virgos, you're going to get a new start with your marriage or relationship. Then we see with uh, marriage, some sort of a problem in the marriage. A uh, problem is transpiring. Um, then we have that some of you have to work on a relationship with a scorpion okay then we see um some of you are having problems with your kids in a relationship with a sagittarian um i see information is going to be coming out for the capricorn capricorn is as if the universe is going to be connecting you and someone together so this is good then we see um in the house of uh, the Aquarians, there is uh, um, a lot to work on, but it's going to be good, all right? It's just that you just need to work on um, this relationship. Then in uh, the house of uh, the Leo, um, I see some sort of a problem. Um, the house of the Pisces, I see some sort of a problem. And if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, there could be um uh some sort of an interference um where an Aries your Sagittarian person was interfering in your life okay they're going to be seeing some sort of a mirror situation if you are uh in a relationship or some sort of a friendship with an Aries they're going to be seeing that an Aries have some sort of a mirror situation okay it's like uh they go for the same people that you go for so it's as if an aries is a, a friend but um the same type of men you go for this aries go for the same type of men so i see a lot of you are going to be recognizing something about an aries friend um that they they try to go for the same person or they were pretending to uh, be the same person as you are in a relationship or looking for the same person it's kind of weird it's a weird situation and it's as if um you're kind of blindfolded if you're in a relationship with the aries it's as if this person plays some sort of a blindfold over your eyes but you're going to be seen through this person in the house of the Aries, um the leo a tower moment is coming down um, a Leo created a whole lot of burdens for you guys in a relationship and whatever burdens this Leo had created a tower moment is here for this Leo. Um, I see a lot of you do not want to work on this relationship anymore. Um, this relationship has come to an end. Um, you would prefer not to work on this relationship because uh, um, they're now, you're now recognizing that uh, never work in the past it's not going to work in the future um i'm letting this go okay so it's as if some of you were trying to work on some sort of a relationship but you're recognizing hey i don't think this is going to work i don't want to work i waste the rest of my energies okay then um some sort of an engagement and some of you are going to get engaged if your child mother or father is a Sagittarian, I see some sort of an engagement. I see a Sagittarian 
is going to want to be there for you. A Sagittarian is going to be asking some of you the ends in marriage. Okay, so that is good. Um, that is definitely good. So whatever is happening and transpiring, um, they're going to be recognizing that um, this is very positive. It's as if um, you were in um, your child father is a Sagittarian or yeah or you're in a relationship with an Aquarian and an Aquarian is going to be coming at you um, because it's as if your child father wants to get back to you or your child mother wants to get back to you but whoever this man is it's as if they're, he, this person is coming at you with harsh words whoever this person is so some of you could be in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, and this person is coming like kai hard at you. Um, and it has to do with like, I think you could have been um, with this person. Mm. You could have been engaged to this person, but you're recognizing this person is kai hard, very hard, okay? And um, it's not nice um, with your kids. So I see that this could be coming up. Then the house of the Taurus, Tauruses. I see a lot of you Taurus men are dating or some of you crosswashers could be dating a Taurus man. Whatever is going on, yes. Okay, and um, you're going to be finding out something about this Taurus man. Okay, so if you're a Taurus woman dating a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, some sort of information data is going to be coming out. Um, you could be finding out that if you're married to a Taurus man, um, this man could be seeing another same-sex person. It does happen, ladies and gentlemen, so be aware. Ascending, I see a lot of you Virgos are going to, if you are in a mundane relationship, it is going to ascend to a new height, so you might be asking someone to either move in or to get married. Okay, you're going to be offering, you Virgos are going to be offering someone something. And it is about moving in, getting married. Um, you could be helping them out uh, however way, but it, the relationship is going to be going to an higher level. Sunglasses is here for you Capricorns. You Capricorns are looking through the veil of illusion and seeing people for who they are. And you're going to be very, very successful. So it's as if you, you Capricorns recognize something that was transpiring in your marriage, your relationships. And you took off the sunglasses and really look at what is happening in your marriage and relationship and you're going to be recognizing the truth okay it's as if um someone a leader is coming back to you um they want to work in a relationship and you're thinking okay that's why this person wants to reconnect they want something from me okay um it could be a sagittarian whether the Sagittarian is, it's as if the Sagittarian is going to be saying, or this Aquarian is going to be saying, but this Aquarian or Sagittarian or someone with a Sagittarian Aquarian energy is going to be coming hard at you. So be aware of this, okay? But whatever they say or whatever they do, you're going to be overcoming this and Capricorns, and this is good. So, um,. In the house of Gemini's tower moment. Tower moment is in the house of the Gemini's. And the Gemini's are recognizing that you earth sign people are really, really nice. Okay. It's as if um, there was some sort of a separation and, a, and you earth sign people are making sure that the separation is properly done. And they are appreciating you for helping them out. And this is good. So whatever is happening and transpiring is in the house of the Gemini. There is something that is going on. 
moving, separating, whatever. But this Gemini is showing appreciation. And some of you, it could be a Gemini in a corporation institution, is going to be recognizing, um, you know, this person could like you. It's coming up as a Gemini boss and this person has some sort of an interest in you. If it's a man, okay? A lot of you are going to be healing from the heartbreaks um, of the ending of your marriage or a relationship. So right now, some of you uh, who just got out of a relationship, you're healing your heart chakra, okay? So it's as if you're not open for any relationship, any commitment, because you need to heal first your heart chakra, and then um, you can have that healing. So here it is, the energy of the heartbreaks. And with the energy of the heartbreaks, uh, there is going to be, um, you need some time to heal. Time to heal. Time to heal. So relationships that was ended, time to heal. You're in the energy of seduction. And I see an Aquarian is trying to, so yeah, an Aquarian woman is trying to seduce uh, some of you earth sign, but it's only for money. So be aware of this. This person, if it's seductive, is only for um, their, mm, their satisfaction. So there is some sort of a seduction that is coming from a Gemini person. And it's only for the money. Um, Aquarian. Gemini. And it's only for the money. So be aware, um, ladies and gentlemen. And men, take your head out the gutter. You know, whoever this woman is, she's just uh, seducing you for money. And it's an Aquarian woman. So take your head out the gutter. Um, then we see an end some of you are going to be ending a relationship for cancer. It's as if this um, relationship is going on and off, on and off, on and off. And you're going to be ending this relationship for this cancer. Because it, it's not going anywhere. This is a young cancer between the age of 18 and 45. If the cancer is 50 years and older, um, it's not going to be ending. But if it's a young cancer... You're thinking about ending the relationship between you and this person because you recognize that it's on and off, on and off. You're getting giddy from it because you don't know what this person wants, what direction this person wants to go in. Okay, it's as if there's not enough to keep you to this person. Even though the cancer is offering you love, um, you don't think that it is enough. Okay, so... All right, so I see healthy choices. A lot of you are going to be making healthy choices in your relationships. A lot of you are going to be recognizing I have been choosing um, the person for the wrong reason. And you're going to be making much more healthy choices. I see some of you are going to be leaving uh, Aries, your fire sign person, and make better choices. Okay, so you're leaving... Um, this um, Aries Leo fire sign person and going for a scorpion. Whatever is happening and transpiring is as if you earth sign recognize that this person is not the person you should be with, an Aries Leo fire sign person. So you're going to be leaving this person and make a better choice with a scorpion. And that's good. Maybe you are having an affair with this person. You recognize that it's not the person you want to be with. Okay, so the swords and the roses. I don't know, but a lot of you heard sign people is dealing with Aries, Leo, and fire sign people. They're not very nice. And um, some of you um, could be recognizing that these people are two faces. Lies, yes. So a lot of you who are in a marriage or a relationship with an Aries, Leo, and fire sign person, they're not honest. They have two faces. Okay. And you got to be aware because this person is two time in you with a Pisces or a Pisces is two time in you with an Aries Leo or a Pisces person. 
Okay, so you're going to be finding out lies and deceptiveness. And if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, you're going to be finding out that um, the Pisces was too charming you with this person. So truth is going to be revealed. So be aware of this. Wow. So. Oh, yeah. They, they, you know, a lot of you are going to be recognizing something disturbing about an Aries, the Orpheus sign person. And it's in the house of the karma. And it's as if you're going to be recognizing this person. It is really two time. They, they, they don't speak the truth. So uh, it's, it's, it's a situation where this person could be seeing another person, a Pisces, and you are seeing them. And they keep on lying to you and you're going to be finding it out. So be aware of that. So namaste. Until next time, please like and share these videos. Thumbs up. If you want to see the extended of these videos, you got to use the link below and the extended, you can pick it up. I don't remember which subscription, but uh, um, you can pick up um, these. Um, pass up for the Pisces. Um, um, Pisces could be double time in some of you. Um, Tauruses. If you're having an affair, your wife is going to know about this. Gemini's, I see you're going to be offered some things like your wife is going to say, okay, we won't divorce, but um, we need to sleep in different beds, that sort of a thing. Um, Capricorns, your house look good. Um, knowing that you haven't been focusing on love for a long time, your house looks good. Namaste. Oh,